Have you ever wondered if your partner is really at that late night work meeting or why her phone is suddenly off limits? These questions can keep you up at night, can't they? Welcome friends and thank you for joining us today. We are embarking on a journey of discovery, a path woven with questions that we often find ourselves pondering. Today we're talking about trust, the cornerstone of every relationship. It's that invisible thread that binds two souls together. But what happens when that trust starts to waver? When doubts begin to creep in and you start noticing things that just don't add up? Infidelity, my friends, is a reality that many of us may face. It's a bitter pill to swallow and often leaves us with more questions than answers. Is she really working late or is there something more? Why has her phone become a forbidden zone all of a sudden? These are the questions that haunt us, that rob us of our peace of mind. Now, we're not here to cast a shadow of doubt over your relationship, far from it. We're here to help you navigate through these murky waters, to help you understand the signs and what they might mean. Imagine you're playing a game of detective. You're looking for clues, for signs that might point to something. There are common signs, little hints that might indicate that your partner is straying. There's a sudden change in her behavior or habits. Maybe she's spending more time away from home, or she's become overly protective of her phone. Perhaps there's a sudden influx of new unknown friends or there's a noticeable decrease in intimacy. These signs, however, are just the tip of the iceberg. They're the starting point of our investigation, the first step towards understanding what's going on. But remember, friends, these signs aren't definitive proof. They're indicators, little breadcrumbs that might lead you to the truth. It's important to approach this with an open mind and a calm heart. Before we dive deeper, don't forget to subscribe to Facts and Fun for more insightful content like this. Now let's get into the signs. Does she seem distant? Is she suddenly overly protective of her phone? These could be red flags. Let's dive into the common signs that might suggest she's straying. Firstly, let's talk about behavioral changes. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, cheating partners often exhibit changes in their daily routines. This could mean she's suddenly hitting the gym a lot more, dressing differently, or acting out of character. If she's suddenly into salsa dancing when she's always been a homebody, it might be a cause for concern. Secondly, emotional detachment is another significant sign. If she seems less interested in your day, less affectionate or less eager to spend time together, she might be emotionally invested elsewhere. The Journal of Marital and Family Therapy suggests that emotional distance can often precede physical infidelity. The third sign is sudden secrecy. If she's overly protective of her phone, deleting messages, or making sure you're not around when she's on a call, you may need to take note. A study from the University of Michigan found that heightened secrecy can indicate a partner's infidelity. Finally, if she's suddenly critical of you, it could be a sign of guilt. The International Journal of Psychological Studies found that a cheating partner often projects their guilt onto their significant other. So if she's finding fault with you more than usual, it might not be about you at all. But here's a word of caution. These signs might be alarming, but remember, they don't always mean she's cheating. Everyone goes through phases and changes. It's natural. She might just be going through a tough time at work, dealing with personal issues, or simply exploring a new hobby. But what if these signs keep recurring? That's a question we'll delve into in our next scene. Stay tuned as we navigate this tricky terrain together. So, you've noticed these signs more than once. What does that mean? Is it time to panic? Let's pause for a moment and take a deep breath. It's natural to feel a surge of emotions when you're faced with recurring signs that your partner might be cheating. But remember, panic is not your friend. It clouds judgment and can lead to decisions you might regret later. Instead, let's take a more level-headed approach. If the signs keep recurring, it's time to address the elephant in the room. Yes, it might be time to confront your partner. But how do you do it without escalating the situation? Well, it's all about clear communication. Confrontation doesn't mean you storm into the room, accusations flying. No, it means you calmly express your concerns, your feelings, and ask for clarification. You might say something like, I've noticed some changes in our relationship and it's making me feel uncomfortable. Can we talk about it? This approach does two things. It opens up a dialogue and it avoids putting your partner on the defensive. But what if your partner denies everything? What if they turn the tables and accuse you of being paranoid or insecure? It's a common reaction and it's called gaslighting. It's a form of emotional manipulation where the person makes you question your own perception of reality. If this happens, stand your ground. 
Remember, your feelings are valid. In the end, it's all about balance. You don't want to jump to conclusions without substantial evidence, but you also don't want to ignore the signs and live in perpetual doubt. It's a tightrope walk for sure, but one that's necessary for your peace of mind. And remember, it's okay to seek help. Reach out to trusted friends, family, or a professional counselor. Sometimes, an outside perspective can provide invaluable insights. Confrontation can be tough, but it's crucial. Remember, it's better to know the truth than live in doubt. So you found out the truth, and it's not what you hoped for. What's the next step? You're likely experiencing a whirlwind of emotions right now. Anger, sadness, betrayal, confusion. It's a tumultuous mix, and it's important to remember that it's okay to feel these emotions. You've been hurt, and it's normal to react. Now the first thing to remember is to take care of yourself. You're the priority. Make sure you're eating well, getting enough sleep, and engaging in activities that you enjoy. It might be difficult at first, but it's essential for your emotional well-being. Secondly, it's crucial to remember that you don't have to make any immediate decisions. The shock of discovery can cloud your judgment. Give yourself time to process your feelings and thoughts. It's okay to take a step back and breathe. You might also consider seeking professional help. A therapist or counselor can provide valuable guidance and perspective. They can help you through the emotional roller coaster and guide you to a place of understanding and healing. Now let's talk about the possibility of forgiveness and reconciliation. Every situation is unique, and it's entirely your call. Some couples manage to rebuild their relationship after infidelity, while others find it best to part ways. There's no right or wrong decision here. It's about what feels right for you. If you do choose to forgive and reconcile, remember that it's a process. Trust has been broken and it takes time to rebuild. It will require open communication, understanding and patience from both sides. It won't be easy, but with effort and commitment, it's possible. And finally, remember that you're not alone. There are support groups and online communities where you can share your experiences and receive advice from people who have been through similar situations. It can be comforting to know that others understand what you're going through. It's a tough road, but remember, you're not alone. And whatever decision you make, it should be about what's best for you. Before we wrap up this video, we want to extend the conversation to you, our viewers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It's a small gesture, but it means a lot to us. We'd also love to hear your thoughts or experiences. Feel free to share in the comment section below. Remember, your story might provide comfort or guidance to someone else going through a similar situation. And if you think this video could help someone you know, don't hesitate to share it with them. It's through sharing and open dialogue that we can support each other. Finally, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We regularly upload insightful content like this, and your subscription ensures you won't miss out. Your engagement helps us create more content that matters to you. Now let's wrap this up.